Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our third, Third Thursdays. Uh, I am your host for the evening. My name is Dr. Dawn, Dr. Dawn Norfleet. Um, Carol Rains Brown, of course, was on the flyer, but she was uh, unable to come because um, of some little trip she had to bake to Europe or something like that. I don't know why she, you know, she just didn't cancel her trip and just come here. But anyway, so she sends her love. And um, so we're, we have tonight um, just an eclectic, uh, an eclectic bunch of people and um, just some really, really different, different, amazing talent. So we are gonna get started, first of all, with Ms. Ashley Taylor. Um, she is a singer, songwriter from LA. And uh, just to read you a little bit about her, uh, as she gets, as she takes her place. In fact, you can take your place and I'll just move over here. Ms. Ashley hails from LA, right? You're from LA? In fact, I can just ask you some questions while you're, while you're getting set up. All right. So, um, Ashley, um, what, what are you going to play for us today? I'm actually gonna play um, um, the first song that I'm gonna play is um, a song by Jeff Buckley from the uh, album Grace, um, and it's a song that I'm gonna cover on my EP. Um, I'm also gonna do <laughs> Daddy Lessons by uh, Beyonce. It was written for the Lemonade album. Um, yeah, we, um, we're we doing some covers tonight, but um, okay. I'm looking forward to playing for you guys. Thank you so much. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of, out of your way and let, for, let, let the people who just came in get uh, have a seat, and we're gonna get started. All right. <laughs> Ashley Taylor.
body turns and yearns for a sleep that won't ever come. It's never over. My key
Thank you. So, Ashley, Ashley Taylor, everybody, one more time. So um, now, how can people keep up with you, social media and whatnot? I um I do have a Facebook. <laughs> it's under Ashley Taylor. Um, there's probably a lot of those, but um, um, I'll put my email down, I guess. And um, I have Instagram. It's Ash T dot underscore. <laughs> um, and I don't have music on there yet, but I'm working on my EP, so hopefully it'll be out by summer, I'll say. Next summer, sorry. Um, yeah. But thank you so much. And my pianist is Julio Espinosa. He's amazing. Thank you so much. Right, Ashley Taylor. So, um, what we're going to do now is we are going to bring up the man of the house, um, which is Pastor S.T. Williams. All right. And while he's coming up, I uh, just want to, you know, acknowledge the passing of one of the great singers of all time, uh, of course, Aretha Franklin. So, you know, let's give her a hand. She embodied the essence of African American culture and history in her voice, and she will be sorely missed. So, uh, if Pastor Williams will come up and he will get us started properly. Okay. Three times blessed, right? June, July, and we're here in August. Isn't that wonderful? Let's praise the Lord for that, eh? All right. Third Thursday at the Lighthouse. But we must pause for, really, to give ourselves a pause for our sister Aretha. I know she's leading that choir in heaven. She's taking them to a whole new level, and she got them doing some things they have never done before, but they do it in the name of Jesus now, right? Amen. So let's just have a, just a pause, and let's Kevin bless us about a minute or so and reflect upon a life of a woman who did everything for Jesus, born, raised in the church, and even though she did secular music, she always gave praise to God. Amen? Let's just pause for a moment and reflect on that. Can we do that? we thank you for a life well lived in our sister, your daughter, Aretha Franklin. And Lord, our hearts are heavy, but yet at the same time, our, our hearts are joyful tonight. As our nation, as our world reflects upon a gift you gave to us and a gift that you've now taken to heaven. We ask your blessings upon her family, especially upon her church family and upon those who loved her so dearly and appreciated the, the depth of her musical gifts and abilities given to her by you, Lord. And we thank and praise you that she always gave the glory, honor, and praise back to you for her gifts. We thank you tonight for her, and we ask, Lord God, that we may meet her in heaven in the, in the joyous choir and enjoy that time with her as well. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, you know, tonight is uh, not just about our sister going to heaven. One of our third Thursday team members is celebrating their 35th birthday. Amen. And uh, we want to just honor that tonight. Lori, if you would come, and if we could have Dr. Dawn to come up at this time. Dr. Dawn is celebrating her 35th birthday tonight. And we're going to all stand up, and we're going to sing happy birthday. Come on. We're going to do it Aretha style. Can you do something like that? Amen. Uh, Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Dr. Don, happy birthday to you. 
It's also her brother Michael sends his love all the way from Asheville, North Carolina. I had to be sure I do that on his behalf. I have a black eye as his pastor. And it's a Joyce's birthday as well, amen? Because she gave the birth, amen? All right. She was the vessel that God used to bring this beautiful woman into the world. And we praise God for you, Joyce, and being here tonight, we can celebrate. In honor of Don's birthday, um, we have a beautiful cake over there. So when you go over to the refreshment bar, just see Lori or, or see Joanne, and they're going to help you get a slice of that beautiful cake. And there are no calories in it, I guarantee you. Amen? There are no calories. You can be seated. For our other prayers for tonight, we really want to just praise God for a beautiful, beautiful summer of a vision that he gave us called Third Thursdays, that we'd be able to reach out to the greater Los Angeles community, we'd be able to reach out to our friends and family members, that we'd be able to say, come out and share the gifts and talents God gave you in the area of song or, or um, piano or drums or spoken word or poetry or whatever the Lord has blessed you in terms of your, your gifts and to share in a community of people who receive it because we realize that God gave the gifts and we want to celebrate the gifts that God gives to us. Amen? And so we thank you for all, all for coming out tonight for the third time. And some, some of you have been following us on Instagram and praying for us that this will become a great tradition. And I ask you to continue to pray about that as we look towards the fall. So the third Thursday team um, is, will be asking the congregation in a couple of weeks if we should continue this third Thursday worship outreach experience. And we know they're gonna say yes, right? But you know, good church folks, you gotta ask, right? And you gotta ask, and so we wanna be sure we ask them to uh, support it and to bless it and let it continue to go as you move into the fall. Because we thought we'd do it for the summer as a trial, and so far God has said, keep moving, saints. Keep moving, saints, all right? Pray with me if you would. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we rejoice over the fact that you pour forth blessings in our lives that we don't deserve, but somehow, Lord God, through your grace and mercy and unconditional love, you continue to pour forth blessings. And we ask you, Lord God, tonight to bless our time together as we celebrate the gifts of those that are here. May we celebrate in such a way that we honor you first and foremost, and may we let them know that they are to be affirmed in the blessings you've given to them, whatever those gifts are. And we ask, Lord God, that as we continue to be people who are walking by faith and not by sight, that we will lean on you, Lord, to carry us through all the ups and downs and trials of life. We're here to be nothing more than vessels for you in this world. And we thank you, Lord, that we can gather tonight as vessels to be filled up under your umbrella of love, to be blessed by your word, to be blessed by the fellowship of those around us, and to celebrate the fact, Lord, that you made each one of us individually with special gifts and talents. We thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for the traveling mercies, Lord, that you provided for everyone coming here tonight. May those mercies go forth as those who leave here tonight, Lord, return to their homes. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's turn it back over to Dr. Don. Thank you guys for coming again. Let's praise the Lord, saints. Okay, and uh, oh, I, I wanted to acknowledge another birthday, which was Ms. Ashley Taylor. When was your birthday? The 11th, okay, so everybody say, happy birthday, Ashley. And Lori's was a couple of week, weeks ago. Lori, can you wave? She's part of the third Thursday team. Say, happy birthday, Lori. All right, so uh, next we have, the flawless image. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm the flawless image. Happy birthday, Dr. Norkley. Thank you for having me. Um, I originally had, I, I will be um, sharing a couple of pieces. My second piece was originally going to be different. I just changed it because I have some educators in here. Dr. Norfleet was my music teacher and then I have Mr. Russell back there who was my professor um, for different classes. So I um, changed my second piece, kind of directed towards them because they'll be able to relate. But this first piece is called Single Me Out. I expect the unexpected. Always being tested. Being thrown and hit. I come across punches so hard, it's like I'm fighting against the headwind. Running the curve, keep left, keep left, and then my head begins to spin. 
thoughts begin to spin and spin, and then I start thinking, but I win. Those who are worldly come to play, but I already took the W. When I was born, that was it. Well, I've decided long ago that nothing could stop me. Not even the greatest of all time could top me because wherever I've gone and wherever I'm thrown, I'd always through it all be me. Through the midst of it all, who could be a better me other than me? I am far beyond any boundaries created by this thing you call a society. What the heck is a society if it doesn't do right by me? It doesn't support in me, and it should because just like Becky and Tiffany or Bob and Larry, I'm a god darn priority. I live life with the simple fact that I am my own authority because that same person who walks around the airport with a police badge ain't no brother than me, no better than me and my brother with a Muslim rag. Let me say that over. Like I said, what is a society if it doesn't do right? in me. Because just like Becky and Tiffany or Bob and Larry, I'm a god darn priority. I live life with the simple fact that I am my own authority because that same person who walks around at the airport with a police badge ain't no better than me and my Muslim brother in his head rag, nor is he or she better than me and my coat that got Salvation Army tagged, nor are they better than me who sometimes get a little sad, or me who dropped $20 but got, got it back. And yes, now I'm glad. Oh, when I get shot and fall to my knees, and then stuff gets all bad. Yeah, that's right. It gets bad, but it's bad for you. Because you ain't realize at the end of the day that the blood I bleed is red and not blue. Red, just like the blood you bleed too. Yes, it's red. So forget what they said. Live your life for you because there's someone out there with a gun to their head wishing to be somewhere else instead, but that mind is a weapon. And so are these words in which are being spoken. Being more careful is the token you choose to waste your time judging based off of what you see when really, if you look in the mirror and not look in one too, we both be seeing the same thing. And by that, I mean we're all human beings. And by that, I mean that if something cuts us very deep, we all gonna bleed. I just choose to be the best by understanding that no one could be a better me other than me. And that gave me a sense of peace and realization that there's no need to compete. When I step in the room, I've already won because I am proudly me. Thank you. Thank you. Now this next piece is um, a monologue but I have not Memorized it, memorized it yet. So um, it's called And or But. A lot of my teachers can relate to it because they know me as a student. <laughs> so it is And or But. I remember when I was a kid and I used to be loud in my class and making beats with my hands and I always been the one to stand out like a sore thumb. So I never felt the need to have friends and People always gravitated to me, and everywhere I went, somebody claimed to know who I am, and I was always me. I found it, I found it hard to be anything other than myself, and when I got home, my mom would yell at me and ask me to read what the teacher wrote on the paper. And it said, frequent outbursts in class. What does that say, image? And I respond, it says frequent outbursts in class, but very good participation skills. No, that's not what we're focusing on. And you need to learn how to sit down and listen. You don't always need the teacher's full attention. You aren't the only one in that class. Let me get another report about outburst or shouting out and I'm gonna come there and beat your ass. Oh, I didn't understand what my mom meant. I got to class and I keep it in mind. No outbursts this time. No outbursts this time. But once the teacher asked the question, and I knew the answer, <laughs> I couldn't help but to shout it out. Where does the story take place, and how does the, oh, it takes place in the girl's mind in a, oops. Sorry, Miss Gilliam. I really didn't mean to shout out. And this happened over and over, and once I got to high school, it was no longer called outbursts 
or shouting out, but it was called no self-control. The teacher sent my mom report saying that I had no self-control. Wow, you don't know how that made me feel. I don't know, I didn't know what to do because I thought I'd master my outburst for real. But I guess not. Image needs to work on self-control, but very good student. Image, what does this? And after reading it, my mind was confused a bit. Mom, I, didn't, I don't even be doing nothing. And of course she went off, or should I say she went on, on and on and on about something I couldn't control. This was just me. And I tried to explain it to my mother, but she just didn't know. She didn't know how hard I tried. But after those butt whoopings, she seen how hard I cried. <sighs> During these moments, I felt like I needed to change who I was inside. But then my mom told me, you have to understand. Everyone already knows who you are. You can't always have the spotlight image. The other people in the classroom will never get a chance. It was then. It was a then that I learned. I finally understood what my mom and my teachers were trying to make me see. It seemed like I was always making everything about me, but I didn't mean to. And once I knew that, I tried gaining my self-control. I wouldn't want to take away someone else's, someone else's time to shine, so I often encourage others to step into the light. You don't have to dim your brilliance, but make sure that others are able to experience it. Just because someone says you aren't doing something right doesn't mean that doesn't make you wrong. Just learn to find ways that make the best of what you do. Give more time to others and make sure that they are growing too. You have to be considerate and very open to what is said, even if you don't agree. I realized I could only grow from the things that people think of me. Thank you. Ms. Image Tyler. Now, I'm sorry, the flawless image. Um, now, I, I was, uh, I, I, I didn't give her a proper introduction. Um, image is a poet and an actress. As of May 2018, she graduated from Wiley College in Texas. Okay. And, you know how people you know, talk about, you know, well, they took uh, you know, five years, six years, seven years. She graduated in three years. Three years, all right? Um, and this spring, she will be attending the University of Texas in Dallas to earn her master's degree. And um, so she's, uh, let's see, well, we, need, we uh, let's see. You can keep up with her on Instagram at the flawless image, wait, the flawless underscore image. Uh, and check the Facebook page and you can see the spelling and all of that to, to keep in touch with her. Uh, you could also uh, reach her on Facebook and um, you know, uh, talk to her about the spelling and all of that. Uh, did you know there are two images on, um, on Facebook? So just to, just to let you know, yeah, you, you might need to <laughs> check that out. But anyway, um, we are going to uh, go on with uh, someone else who is talented with words and also production and music. And uh, we're going to bring on Mr. Milo Moo. So. Milo is a multidisciplinary music artist and a producer working in performance and video. He is from Inglewood, yes? Okay, and he graduated from UC Berkeley, UC Berkeley, uh, where he majored in African American Studies. Currently, he is studying for his Master's in Fine Arts, or his MFA, at the prestigious Parsons School of Design in New York City. So, in fact, he'll be, leave, he'll be leaving on Saturday, right? And he's going to finish this year. Um, he's presently working on, a building, on building a narrative music video series, and I, I don't know what that is. But you can actually ask him what that is all about um, on his, by keeping up with him on his uh, uh, website, milomoo.com, and his Instagram page. Um, and uh, currently, he's also working on a collaborative album with uh, soul jazz pianist Greg Manning. 
All right, so let's, without further ado, bring up Milo Moo. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? All right, cool. All right, we're gonna start off with some call and response. Okay, okay. All right, everybody, yo, when I say Milo, y'all say more, I say it's Milo. It's Milo. Okay, okay, y'all wait, okay, just checking. Can it go up a little more? Yeah. Now, when I say doctor, yo, no fleet, doctor, doc, okay. Be yourself, lose control. We can go up, go way up. Just give it up, but give me one. Just write it down. Build a crown, just build a throne. Build your place, just build your space. Just don't go home, make a new one, make three, make infinity. Go into the universe, go into the trinity, go inside. Go to the drive, go, go, uh-huh The universe has arrived, yeah, uh-huh Like now, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh Then we just go to the place, then we just go to the plane And we just love our own bodies, the vibe is a party The party is too much, everything's around me Nature in bliss, oh my god, this nature is just glistening all of these lights on me, I'm just listening The stars in the sky, I am one but I'm living uh, at this society Let's go do our thing, let's leave, let's be We go inside, go, go We go to the drive, go, go The universe has arrived, yeah Go, uh, go, 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 go. go. Inside, go, go, uh huh. We go to the drive, go, go, uh huh. The universe has arrived, yeah, uh huh. Go inside, go, go, uh -huh. yeah. How y'all doing? Good, you good? Cool. Dance with me, hey, hey. Sign the culture, I vibrate. Dance with me, just dance with me. Sign the culture, we vibrate. Dance with me, just dance with me. Sign of culture, I vibrate. Okay, I feel like Bowie. I try to move slowly. I try to be Loki, but they all know me. Ah, all the birds. Words cannot appreciate. Let's innovate. Test the Mars. Loving you. Been in the bars, cocoons. Fill up balloons with my heart in the tombs. And me a sound. We hearing the truth. Sign of culture, I vibrate. Dance with me. Just dance with me. Uh, sign of culture, I vibrate. Dance with me. Just sign of culture. Because we all vibrate. We're all just atoms. So we just vibrating. Sign of culture, I vibrate. But then it's all rain. Hell in the room, the energy get 50 times expanded I'm in the planet, I'm tripping in Kansas Superhero, watch all this drip, all on this Fleshy clouds, soft songs, and Frank Ocean in the background Checks blue, new bloom in the sonic truth Cause it's that sonic culture, we vibrate Dance me, just dance with me Sonic culture, we vibrate Sonic culture, I didn't hear that Dance with me, just dance with me Sign the culture, we vibrate. <laughs> Trying to ask me a question, uh. I got a lot of reflections, uh. My passions is my breakfast, yeah. I'm active, but I'm restless. I'm gassing, but I'm fresher. No, I'm asking, but I'm testing, uh. I'm actually a vestige of angel raps in depths of love. Sign the culture, we vibrate. Dance with me, just dance with me. Sign the culture, I vibrate. One more time. Hey, when I say doctor, y'all say no for me, doctor, doctor. When I say Milo, we gon' say move, Milo, Milo. Sonic culture. Thank you, y'all doing good? Woo! All right. Now I'm going to my last song. Um, 
This last song is a collaborative song. I produced the first two. The last one is produced by Greg Manning. R.I.P. with the Franklin. But you know you must go into the light uh, You must go to the light uh, Go to the truth and understand that everything you want is deep inside the booth Speaking to the microphone, speaking to the instruments Cause infinity is one inside the increments that raise up Everything will never ever replace us We gon' be here and nothing will ever chase us We will all go down to the light beam and take us To the light beam in the sky now just take us, just take us Yeah I want this to be forever, but sometimes it seems like All of these policing, all of these lights and all of these sirens All around want me to fight to my own demise But I will just fight, no I will never cry See even if I cry, I know that all my tears will fall deep into the soil Around everything you know that the truth will go you Because the fire in the street Died and he want us to be and have love and all to be peace We got people that's fighting and starving And everything got me just feeling like Marvin Cause what's going on nowadays? What's going on nowadays? Say what's going on nowadays? What's going on? Eternity is constantly hurting me Dark and clap on and on and on It goes on and on On and 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 on For the lovers, rubber jazz, hot space cup, sipping on magic potion in the sky like Basquiat sitting on big photos, holding dreams and all for ancestors golden. And the dream is living, and the HD is vivid, cause the demons sitting heavy in the power structure. So we mix, take, misplace, and reframe, brief, play, race, pay, cosplay, shootouts of broad day, uh, and it's physical. And the time to rub strips with you individuals, uh. I can only just sit with you, reflecting all the mirror truths of the intertwined. New design and print of mind, now everything is so divine. And we just go to the place that was built for us, not the one that they have given us. And it constantly goes on and on. Y'all doing good? Make some noise, y'all feeling okay? Y'all feeling good? Okay. It just goes on and on It's on and on and on and on and on On and on and on and on Eternity is constantly turning me To plenty seas, 360 degrees Eternity is constantly turning me To keep planting these seeds, 360 degrees Eternity is constantly turning me Let me see it's 360 degrees Eternity is constantly turning me yeah. When I say Milo one more time, y'all say boo It's Milo, it's Milo We here for a doctor Who is it? Northly doctor Yeah Thank you, thank you everybody, appreciate it
they were actually my, my students back in the day. <laughs> so this is just like the biggest birthday present that they come and share uh, their gifts and, uh, and meet each other, you know, because sometimes as artists, you feel like you're, you're, you're alone trying to do something, trying to forge your own path. And, you know, it's important that we know that there, the, that there are other people who are passionate about the arts uh, and about creativity and forging your own unique, uh, you know, path and your, your, your artistry. And so, um, so, you know, that's what this third Thursday uh, outreach and ministry is, is about, all right? So we're gonna bring up Pastor Williams and he's gonna, a note from the team. Oh, okay, don't forget to mention, oh! <laughs> Donation box on the top of the piano. <laughs> okay, and uh, there was a food truck. I don't know if it's still uh, if they're still out there. Jackfruit. Yes. Okay. Jackfruit Cafe, and I totally recommend the vegan nachos. It's like all vegan. It's good, great stuff. All right. Um, the other thing we're supposed to mention is there is an open mic list uh, somewhere, and oh, okay. That's my mother over there, so uh, the, the woman who looks like me, <laughs> except she's a lot more colorful. <laughs> That's true, I look like her. All right, so um, Pastor Williams, thank you. Thank you. So feel free to come and go in terms of getting things from the food truck. Feel free to come and go from the bar. Uh, up there, they, they got cake and cookies and coffee and punch and water and all those things. Um, we want it to be kind of a, a free-flowing experience and even though you feel like you're in a kind of a, a theater situation, we really want you to feel comfortable to get up and move around. Uh, for those who are looking for the restrooms, as you go out the door, see Ricky back there. Ricky will guide you down the uh, courtyard, uh, down the patio to the restrooms as well. So, we always include a little bit of God's word because we're in God's house, amen? And so we got to have a little bit of word, and a little bit of word goes a long ways because it doesn't take much for us to be blessed by the Lord because everything God gives us blesses us, right? So let's have, just have a short prayer, and I'm going to share with you a little bit uh, this evening from John chapter 6 where Jesus talks about being the bread of life, the bread of life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, not only rejoice that we're here with you, but we thank you that you are in us, around us, and blessing us and reminding us that you are the true bread from heaven and it is bread that satisfies our souls and blesses us, reminds us that we are yours not for one day but for eternity. We thank you for your holy, divine, and errant word uh, that allows us to know that we connect to you by your spirit, that your word then uh, blesses our hearts, it opens our minds, and gives us more insight to not only who we are but whose we are and the plans that you have for us, like the beautiful gifts that have been already shared tonight and the beautiful gifts that will be shared later tonight as an example of how you bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so if you have your phones, you're welcome to turn over to John chapter 6. Some of you guys have your Bibles on your phone, John chapter 6. When you get over John chapter 6, John chapter 6 is a pretty long chapter. It has 70 verses. So you want to just flip over, if you would, um, to verse uh, 50. Verse 50 of John chapter 6, Gospel of John chapter 6. All right? And when you get to verse 50, we're going to just read a little bit about how Jesus reminds the disciples, reminds those that are following him that he is the true bread that came down from heaven, uh, as reminding us that we never will have to hunger for anything physical or spiritual because of Jesus. But here is a bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply against themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said, very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him, I will raise him up at the last day, for my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father, so that 
So the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors uh, ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogues in Capernaum, the end of our text. I know a lot of us enjoy bread. Rye bread, wheat bread, all kinds of bread, right? And sometimes we have too much bread, right? Sometimes it's too much bread and it causes us some issues. But when Jesus is talking about the kind of bread that he's bringing into the world, that he, he brought into the world by coming into the world, he clearly is not talking about just physical bread, right? He's using this analogy to get the attention of those in the temple who are still trying to figure out, is he the promised Messiah? And he's trying to get those who are following him to understand they're following him for the wrong reasons, right? They're looking to get something. If you keep following Jesus, he's going to do something for us versus following him because they believe that he is the Messiah that came down from heaven. So if you put it all together for us today, so many times in our lives, we're always telling God, I want something from you. I want this, I want that. Any, any of those people in the room? I need this, I want that, I gotta have that. How come I haven't been blessed? That person been blessed, how come I can't get the same blessings, right? But that's not what Jesus wants us to focus on. He wants us to focus on him and the, and the blessings he has for us as the bread of life for us because we know that what's not promised? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised. So how do we feast on the bread of life? Think about this. How do we feast on the bread of life? Ask the person next to you, how do you feast on the bread of life? The first way we feast on the bread of life is we have to be people who are in God's word, right? Because there's where we find true bread, amen? that satisfies our soul, satisfies our hearts, and lets us know that we're not alone and that all the troubles of this world will one day be gone and we'll be able to move forward and be like our sister Aretha in the choirs of heaven and standing around the throne of God saying amen, glory, honor, and praise to our God forever, right? The, the second way we, we feed on the Lord is what? Come on, through the word and what else? Prayer, come on folks, we pray, right? We're people of prayer. Not only when we get in trouble, not only when things get bad, not only when we aches and pains, but we're people of prayer to also praise God, right? We praise God through our prayers and we thank him for every blessing that he pours in our lives. Okay, that's two ways. What's the third way that we then feed on the bread of life? What is it? What do we do? Worship. That's what we're doing here tonight, right? In the word, we're in prayer, and we worship together. We're worshiping together tonight the gifts and the talents of everyone who comes up here. We're thanking God for those individuals that we can celebrate with them the unique gifts and talents that God has put into their lives, right? So we worship together. He says, well, two or more are gathered in my name. You finish it. Finish it. There am I in the midst, right? There's at least two people in the room tonight, right? All right, amen. There's these two of us in the room, so the Spirit is with us, and so we're worshiping our God as we're celebrating the gifts of those who have various things to share with us tonight. There's number four. What's number four? Word, right? Prayer, worship, and what's the last one? The body and the blood of Jesus, right? When we have a chance to feast on the true body and blood and holy communion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there's nothing like that, is it? There's nothing like kneeling at the altar. There's nothing like a time of prayer. There's nothing like feeling forgiven and set free. There's nothing like feeling like you're empowered, right? There's nothing like feeling we have a purpose and a meeting in life. And there's nothing like feeling that we are united with Jesus and that nothing, and I mean nothing in this world, can separate us from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, right? So that's how we feast on the bread of life as we do what we are called to do as we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ and celebrate that he is our bread of life. You want to review it with me? We feed how? On the word, right? Through prayer, through worship, and through the body and the blood of Jesus and Holy Communion. That's the bread of life for us. And when it's all said and done, we'll hear these words. You know those words too. What, what we're going to hear like Aretha heard this morning. What did, what did Aretha hear? Well done. 
thy good and faithful servant. That's what she heard, and that's what we want to hear as well from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because he is our true bread of life. Amen? Let's, let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we can gather tonight as sons and daughters, as brothers and sisters, as family members, as those gifted uniquely by you to do great things for you. And we thank you, Lord God, that we can celebrate the way we're doing. And we ask, Lord, that you would bless us as we continue to be your people. Wherever you take us, wherever we go, uh, however you mold us and shape us, may we always celebrate you being the bread of life for us today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'm going to turn this back over to our MC, Dr. Don. Is she somewhere close? Is she somewhere close, Dr. Don, somewhere close? All right. Look, you cannot leave in any of Dr. Don's birthday cake at the church. Amen? I'm going to tell you that right now. That's, that's a different kind of bread. Amen? So you go there and you eat that cake and don't count any of the calories. There are no calories in the cake at all. No worries about that whatsoever. Have you had a good time so far tonight with those who have come up? It's been absolutely wonderful. I want, want to thank uh, those who are part of the AXO program who have, who have shared their gifts with us tonight. And we're going to have more of that uh, as Dr. Don comes. Come on, Dr. Don, and take us into the next act. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for Dr. Don. Amen. All right. Well, thank you, Pastor Williams. Yeah, this is kind of a, a reunion for a lot of people. So um, I, I taught at a, at a middle school called KIPP, KIPP Academy of Opportunity. And then I, uh, a couple of years later, I taught at the Culture and Language Academies of Success. And uh, both were LA uh, charter schools. And um, I got a chance, I, I, I was blessed with the opportunity to work with some really super amazingly talented people. And, um, and you know, 10 years later, <laughs> you know, I, I see how they've just blossomed in the, into these amazing people I, I knew they were gonna be anyway. So, um, so now, I'm a real advocate of public school uh, education and arts in the schools, arts in the public schools. When I was growing up, it wasn't a big thing to take violin or something like that in the, you know, to be in the school orchestra. I was at Perchie Avenue Elementary School uh, in Gardena. And we had this teacher, a very quirky lady named Miss Bryant. And fourth grade, um, when I was in the fourth grade, Miss Bryant went around to the different schools and she asked, uh, asked us kids, you know, who wanted to be in the, um, in the orchestra? And I raised my hand and I said I wanted to play the flute because it was pretty and it was shiny and stuff. And it wasn't a piano because everybody in my family played piano. So, um, so anyway, long story short, I got to play in the school orchestra and person on clarinet turned out to be my best friend, Miss Coco Street. Are you ready? Let's get ready to go. Okay. And um, she's gonna, she has a haiku actually to introduce her, uh, her artistry here. And um, so she will go ahead and do that. Uh, thanks everybody. Um, actually, this is pretty special for me because you know I finished my education, worked, did what I needed to do, and now I'm coming full circle and bringing back the arts part of my life again. And the Lord said, even now I can use you, even after you've been out there, you know, and you can do anything through me. So this is that uh, presentation. Um, one day I was listening to a record from a friend of mine that I'd worked with musically before uh, in the gospel house uh, type of music. His name is Terrence Parker. And he had a record out called God Loves Detroit. It came out last year. And I was listening to his record and the Holy Spirit said, write some lyrics to this. And I'm like, now, Lord, I'm at work. So I'm crawling under the table trying to sing it to my phone, writing some lyrics. And it was hilarious because the lyrics really turned into a brand new venture with a very good friend of mine who was also a peer 
uh, who lives in Albuquerque, and together we formed a label called Coco Lala Records. And so we we're like, we don't have any money to do this. And the Lord said, what's in your hand? Use what you have, everything you have, and I'll bless it. We didn't have video cameras. We didn't have makeup. We did use what we had. And so this is a result of that. And the song is called, Will You Ever Come Back to Me? And so this is what the Lord says to everyone. So this was my life, separated from the vine. Now imagine that. This is everyone when the voice of God grows faint. Now imagine that. You will see a bride walking without her bridegroom. Now imagine that. You will see a face waiting for the kiss of life. Now imagine that. You'll see a crown that reminds of precious flow. Now imagine that. You'll see a candle snuffed in the midst of shining. Now imagine that. Colossians 3.3, life is gained through precious death. Please imagine that. And this is really us when we run away from God. Now imagine that. And if you're running, a question now remains. Will you ever come back?
Street. All right. So, uh, according to her bio, she's ha she hails from the city of LA. Uh, she exemplifies the future of electronic dance music, drum and bass, and jazz funk. She's a vo vocalist, percussionist, and songwriter, and uh, she's also uh, contributed to theater and uh, numerous things. Now, um, Lala D is the name of your, okay, the, the, her business partner who produced this video, right? And the music. And the music, okay. And uh, she was unable to be with us tonight because she lives in Albuquerque, right? Yes. Okay, so um, the company is Coco Lala Records and um, you can check out Coco, Coco Lala just how it sounds, cocolalarecords.com. All right, do you have Instagram? Yeah, Cocolala Records. Cocolala Records. Um, now, can you just um, explain a little bit about the, the bride, the, the, the image? I, I think that's really important. <laughs> the bride is the church, period. Okay, so the makeup, of course, you saw a skull, you know, and in New Mexico, it's part of the New Mexican culture of Dia de los Muertos. And so uh, my business partner is Latina, and so she wanted to exemplify part of her culture in Dia de los Muertos in there. Uh, but she is born again, spirit-filled, loves the Lord, but we wanted to be able to touch 
that part of the community that um, is perhaps more into goth or um, is a clubber but is so far out they can't hear the voice of the Lord anymore. So we're looking for a way to reach them. And so that's what we did. And that's what the Lord gave her and that's what we came up with. Thank you, and it, it is actually a visually stunning video, so I encourage you to visit her website. It's on your website? Coco Lala on Vivo. Okay, so now, um, the last of our featured artists is a young man by the name of Justin Lewis. And he's out there somewhere, okay. Um, as he comes up, I'll give you a little bit of his bio. He's a classically trained vocalist, baritone, and songwriter uh, from LA. He recently completed his Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance at the University of Cincinnati Co College, Conservato College Conservatory of Music. He currently works at Format Entertainment as a music coordinator, uh, working on music placement and uh, with composers and artists for the Marvel movie catalog. And some of you may have heard that, that little indie film called Black Panther. Yeah, so you, you're, you guys worked on that too, right? Yeah. All right. So um, now he didn't put this in his bio because he's all grown and whatnot, but I'm just going to throw this out there. He was a grand fi finalist in the prestigious Spotlight, Music Sp Center Spotlight Awards and an NAACP AXO National Medalist from the Beverly Hills Hollywood chapter. So without further ado, let's bring up Mr. Justin Lewis. As it spins around Just don't let the spins get you down Things are moving fast Yeah. 
sing your greatest song. And you keep going. tragic ends though they do pretend they won't go when I go all those bleeding hearts with sorrows to impart were right here from the start Oh, that 
Happy for Dr. Norfleet <laughs> and Kevin Dean. This last one is a, a spiritual that you probably all know. Um, it's called Give Me Jesus. Justin Lewis. So. All right. So, now, okay, now we're gonna, well, first of all, thank you, thank you for coming. We are uh, getting ready for our open mic portion now. 
and uh, we're gonna try to get <laughs> uh, as many people as we can because we have a list that is right here. So, uh, oh yes, please get cake. There is cake, there's donation box, and uh, we are gonna bring up uh, uh, Lee. Um, oh, and the, the uh, Jackfruit Cafe truck is right outside. So Lee, are you ready? Okay, so while Lee is setting up, uh, we're gonna have uh, Lee then, uh, let's see, uh, just, we're gonna have Simone, number two, Kim, number three, uh, Earl, number four, Richard, number five, okay? All right, everybody, this is off my third album. Let me get my groove on. Breezy Beats Production. It's 10.45. My major is wise and high. Getting close to that time Tonight I'm gonna make you mine You stay on my mind Can't get enough of you Always thinking of romantic things I can do to you Massage you down Tonight we're gonna be on one so if you've heard this second song, feel free to sing the hook with me. This is another Kim Fossil production. Keys to my heart. She's got the keys to my heart. Yes, she do. She's got the keys to my heart. Keys to my heart. She's got the keys to my heart. Keys to my heart, she's got the keys to it. Hey baby, I wanna get to know ya. I like your style, honey. I think you're the one for me. Come here, baby, let me show you real love. You're the apple of my eye. I know you're the one for me. She's got the to my heart, she's got the keys to my heart. She knows she's got the keys. To my heart, she's got the keys to my heart. Every time I'm around you, baby, I get chills. Let me 
right? L.A. County High School of the Arts. We have Loxa in the house. Okay. So this was, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to sing, but I do love it. And to honor such an amazing figure in my life, um, I did it all. You? Brief intermission, guys. Oh, I guess a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Simone. Okay, I have two stage names technically. The first name is Simone, um, but it's either Simone Michelle or Simone Mariposa. Um, I am a, an aspiring actor and singer. Um, I also do a little bit of like body positivity, activism and stuff like that. Um, I've been singing since youth, but I really started to get into it in high school and in college as well. Um, a little candid moment. I haven't necessarily taken the time to nurture my creativity and my artistic abilities as much recently. Um, and I'm, I'm very passionate about it, but you know, sometimes self-doubt kind of knocks you down a little bit. Even if you know you're good at something, you may not be as confident in it. Um, but this is the first of many times where I showcase myself. Um, I'm from LA. Um, Dr. Norfleet taught me in middle school. I was in her choir, and she knows me from youth. Um, <laughs> thank God for maturity, because it took a lot for me to realize how much of a talent and really just very intelligent, intuitive, especially with music, Dr. Norfleet is, so I'm grateful for that. So, oh, he's got the music, nice. Oh, you're still trying to find Oh yeah, thank God I'm an actor, right? And I do improv, so it's kind of like stand up a little bit. Um. <laughs> my funny, um, mm -hmm. I think it's A minor. A minor. Bye. 
sunny valentine sweet comic valentine you make me smile with my heart your lips are laughable Photographable, and yet you're my favorite work of art. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak when you? Baby, don't, baby, don't, baby, don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Day is Valentine's Day. All right, Simone. And you were, uh, you were in Hairspray, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, she was in Hairspray. Do you, do you have anything coming up? Um, oh, I can say, where can you find me? Where can you find me? Instagram. Instagram. Simone. Okay, now, next up we have Kim Henley, who's going to do a poem. Kim, Kim Henley. Kim? Oh, it says, okay, Kevin Hem Henley. Okay, sorry about that. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Minister Kevin Gibson. Uh, when I went to Carolina Island a few years ago, I read three, I took three uh, biographies with me. One for Teddy Pendergrass, Marvin Gaye, 